coming out there, you too? Hola, como estas? Yeah, too. Uh, we are about to do a second reaction slash review for Batman v Superman, the final trailer. This is the last trailer that will ever come up for Batman v Superman until March 25th on its release date. Now, I've already looked at it. Y'all have already seen like my reaction to it. This is Joe's very first time watching, so y'all get an authentic reaction from Joe on what his last and final thoughts are on Batman v Superman. So, without further ado, this 2 minute and 13 seconds of epicness, we're about to watch it and then we're going to do a kind of in-depth review on it real briefly. Alright, here we go. Colonel Imogen is showing me two dozen hostiles on the third floor. Why don't I drop you off on the second? Drop you off at the second floor, and dude, and like you see the villains in there waiting for him to come through the door. About twenty dudes. This dude comes through the floor. <laughs> like, think about that, y'all. He came through the floor. I guess I can understand he came to the ceiling. This dude came through the floor, and just started. Just I mean, he started freaking. Free running, beating these dudes down. Yo, somebody got rock bottom like, though. Rock that bottom. cat like got rock bottom. But the last dude though, the last dude, he his body was upside that way, and his head had hit the floor. He beat and it stuck there. <laughs> I mean, I was like, that this dude's strong, man. He's throwing people left and right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, and dude, and like one thing I like about it is when they actually came, when he actually came from the floor, he used a zip line, and then like. They the way he like he moved so quick like it actually blurred his uh, his silhouette, yeah. which was just like, yo, that's this is a good, not very nice touch. Yeah, um, my favorite 
move he did when he jumped over that box and then hit the dude. Oh, he free run him. Like, that was yeah. something that, uh, from Assassin's Creed, right? he said, smack, yeah, man. I was like, wow. But, um, dude, I mean, this is, this is gonna be a good movie. like, I mean, for me, like, being a Batman fan, I've always wanted to see, um, the animated series Batman that can, that's really strong, that's gritty, that knows how to fight, knows every kind of martial arts form known to man, and just do it, you know what I mean? I'm not saying the Christian Bale thing wasn't good. It's just I wanted to see, like, the Batman that I know from the comics and from the cartoon series, and that's what they've given me. That's what they're giving me. I mean, even the simple fact that, like, him going and engaging all those guys like that without even worrying about it, and then he's like, man, I'm getting slow. Like, what are you who are past? Like, what are you in your prime? Like, whoa. <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. But then... Uh, there was a couple other moments that was crazy because um, it showed that Superman, he um, he had kind of just ambushed Batman in a sense because he, when he, once he hit the ground, like I saw like Batman's look, and he broke and he like hit him from the side. I thought that before, you know, like Batman did intentionally. Now we see that that was kind of intentional on Superman's part. But then even like you saw like when Batman like shot something at Superman. Like a, I think it was a grenade launcher, because like it was bigger than a bullet. I mean, of course, Superman grabbed that giant. But I mean, throughout the whole entire trailer, you see them just going at it. Like I think at one point, Superman put through Batman through a freaking building and kept going. And it's like, yo, <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing else like this in my life, bro. But oh, Wonder Woman. So we finally get to hear Gal Gadot's voice, right? And, I mean, she sounds like what one of them is supposed to sound like. I was sitting there thinking, oh, this is going to be some whack sauce. But even, like, her lunge into what I assume is the Doomsday fight, like, it looked legit. What, what were your thoughts on Wonder Woman and her presence? Because Batman made an interesting line. He was like, I've seen women like you. I knew that was a nudge to, like, Talia or Catwoman. And she was like... I don't think you've ever met women like me. And what was your thoughts on Wonder Woman in this <clears throat> small bit? That's bad for you? Really, Joe? You cheesing, nah, nah, man. Nah, nah. <laughs> I'm going to tell nah, Iris. Nah, I'm going to nah, 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 nah. tell you. All right, so you know, talking about Wonder Woman. Um, so, I mean, I mean, we all had our reasonable doubts, you know, but uh, about her, uh, you know, walking that road. Yeah, but I don't know, man. I don't know. They did something right. They did something right because I'm just like, yo, that's Wonder Woman. Like, yeah, I mean, like, just her her presence there, it reminded me of the Justice League series. Like, when yeah. Batman and Wonder Woman, even when their reactions together, like, they kind of had this kind of sexual tension. Like, you assumed that, you know, Wonder Woman kind of had a liking to Batman. Um, but, I mean, the last sequence, though, like... How is it that Batman was able to block that? How is it that this man... I mean, yeah, he's strong. And obviously he can fight. But there has to be some kind of deterrent that he has that he's putting damage on Superman. Let alone... Either Superman's getting weaker by the fight and it's just progressively making him weaker. Maybe this is a different form of kryptonite that we've ever seen before from the movie universe. Or, like, something has just happened and he's lost his strength. Either way... Like, if Batman, if he could block that, <laughs> if Batman wanted to, he might actually could kill this man. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I mean, what's your, what's your thoughts on that? <laughs> like, what do you think is really going on? I don't know. We'll just have to wait for the movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but all I can say, this trailer was bomb. The trailer was dope. Uh, the music was good. Good choice of music. It's a change up. Yeah. It's a sort of change up. Definitely got you, you know what I'm saying? Got your hype. Got your yeah. drilling puppy. Yeah. So we give this review and this like trailer a 10 out of 10. Our anticipation of Batman Superman, I, I guess we can justly say that it's higher than it was before, yeah, which is man. even crazier. Um, yeah, so I feel like this trailer made up for everything I've seen in the past. Any kind of worry like, that you have yeah, is kind of gone. Yeah, this it's just kind of gone because like you definitely see like. You know, it, it, they even show, like, Batman having kind of, like, a, a little solo uh, skirmish there. So, based off of that, I'm thinking there's going to be a lot of action in this movie. Yeah. Like, because I was worried about maybe, 
you know, maybe one or two fight scenes and then the rest just come out like dialogue, or whatever. Yeah. But given <laughs> what they've shown, there's gonna be I think there's gonna be a lot of fight scenes. Yeah. So they've already confirmed it's gonna be a two hour and forty minute long movie. On two top hours of, and forty minutes. On top let's of that, go. let's go. On top of that, that me and Joe, <laughs> you're gonna get to watch the movie a week ahead of time. What you guys say about that? Yes, yeah, we out. We back. We gotta go to the movies tonight. Love y'all. Peace. Woo!